Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. At the end of the last episode I made some clay and uh, between last episode and now there's uh, been an upgrade to the to the pack so we're now on version 0 0.8 I think. So what you do with clay is you put it into the chemical decomposer like this and you get these kaolintine or night kaolinite and what you can do with this is it should get rid of this recipe here be able to put that in here and we get two clay so in fact we actually end up with four clay for one that's the minimum so let's just take that because of course then you could then combine this together and make a block of clay again like that we're not going to do that because we need the clay I think so let's put the clay into here and that's our recipe for that so we we can then what are we going to do with that? I'm not sure at the moment I think I need it for something later on maybe to make some more so porcelain probably do actually need to make some more porcelain let's get to make another one of those so I've got another dust prepared and I need a bucket of water select water again let's do this again put the water into there and put the dust on into it and we get our clay we can scan this actually, we'll scan this this time because I should have done it last time and it says we get nothing for it, that's a bit weird that's not correct at all let me just check the book oh maybe you can't make it is what it's saying so here you get 100% chance of 4 decomposer that's a bit strange, don't understand that because we only got two last time, that's anyway. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense to me that. Oh, well, let's put this in here. Let's decompose this again. Let's see if we get more this time. No, we only got two. Well, 100% chance of just telling me fibs. So we can now make another. Um, what do we make? Another crucible. So let's make another crucible. We've got plenty of. Actually, I've got plenty of um, bone meal, that's pretty good. So I clear those out, then we get eight of those. And now I'm going to end up with a spare one, doesn't matter very much. And then we can fire this. Now, between the two times, the, um, the, mini, the mini coals have disappeared. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'm just wondering. Anyway, I can't fire this. Did I put my furnaces away? I guess I put them away. Let's take a furnace and take some coal with us. I think. Have we got any mini coal in here? No, we haven't. I'll take one piece of coal. That should be enough to cook this. Let's put a furnace down here and cook up the crucible while we're thinking about it. While I'm thinking about it, like that. On here and leave that there for the time being. We'll probably put that away too. So next thing was I was doing a lot of mining to get a block of diamonds, wasn't I, to build a quarry? So let's get on to the quarry. And you notice here I put all these things in front of here. The one I haven't put in yet is aspirin. I want to go and make some aspirin because aspirin gives you regen too. Um, wrong place. I need to be in the assembly room, don't I? If I put this block of diamonds in now, I should be able to choose a quarry. And turn off this. Let's see how we get on. So in fact the quarry requires 1.5 million. No, sorry, I can't read this. 15 million RF. So let that get on with that. There is actually what I'm not sure about is we haven't got any any quests yet. Let's have a look at the quests again. I was looking at this one to see if that was possible. This one here is the improvements. So transcendence are nothing in there yet. Improvements, there's some items in here that we can and cannot make. So look, for example, here we can make more water. So we can have six, if we make 64 oak saplings, then we'll get 64 oak saplings back again. So our water usage is increasing, especially when we break it down for oxygen. The reconstruction of trees in a box 
We'll do for a while until we find a better solution for this. So we need 64 oak saplings. And that's what I need to do. I need to make another tank. Let's make another tank. And in fact, I want to make the end dryer version of the tank, I think, which is here. So we can do with this one. Should have. No, we haven't got anywhere near enough. But iron in this mod pack isn't a problem. So we can make 16 bars. That'll do. Put that away and put the iron away. And then we should be able to make. And we need a piece of glass as well, don't we? So we need some silicon dioxide. Have we got any obsidian there? No. But I will have some in here, I'm sure. Yes, I've got that's potassium nitrate. I haven't got any silicon dioxide, that's not good. Let's go and get some silicon dioxide. Have we got anything in here? No, I haven't. Let's get my I've probably got some more things to, to dig up there. Put five in there and one in each of these. And then you see whether you're actually ending up with a reasonable amount of lava. So I think one bucket of lava uh, will do. One ingot of um, obsidian. Let's just go and harvest this while I'm here. Potatoes grow quite well. And so do carrots. Carrots is quite a good food source, but it's also quite a good chemical resource as well. So how many carrots have we got now? Four. So we can fill another four of these up. Let's do that. Like that. And now let's go and decompose this silicon dioxide. make some glass and then we can make a tank sixteen that's just enough for, for one piece of glass I think it's four in each corner indeed it is so we have our piece of glass for the tank It's very useful being not having to eat, but uh, you do get the particle effect, which is a bit negative, I suppose. In fact, I've actually got 10 ME glass cables here. I'm just wondering if it's possible to join these up. Because if I go through here like this, it might be possible. If I can dig it. But better on the other side. To bring that water right the way through here. In fact, I might be too high. I am. Oh, I don't think it's going to be possible. It's too far away, I think. Let's have a look. What have we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Unless we're actually one block away from this, which I don't think we will be, I'm not going to be able to reach. Where's it gone to? No, it comes through here and not through here. Let's put them in back in here if I can. And I can't make any glass. I can't make any of this glass cable either. I don't think. So we'll look at the recipe for that. Yeah, we need the, this one. So we need quartz fiber and fluid crystals. Now, it might be possible to do this because we've got certis quartz dust and glass to make quartz, these quartz fibres here. Now, certis quartz we can get by nether quartz, grinding that, macerating it or pulverising it. And we've got a pulveriser. Sagmo we've got no chance of yet. Industrial grinder. So the recipe for nether quartz we might be able to make in the... Um, chemical synthesizer. So four silicon dioxide and one gallium arsenide. Now gallium arsenide comes from, well it's actually one of the things from moon surface rock which 
master fish rock so we can't get that but there are other recipes for this have a look magna crucible decomposing that fluids we can decompose fluid crystals yeah anything made is useless we don't care about that granite but I think there is a way to get it all these colorful blocks are great but not much use to us well put it this way there was a way to get it before but it looks like that might have been removed Yes, and I don't think that I thought I could get it from Endstone actually. I just because that we used to be able to get it from Endstone, and we can make we can't make Endstone anymore. Ah, okay, we used to be able to make Endstone by putting lava. Go, well, maybe we'll try it anyway. Let's just take a piece of glowstone and see if we can actually make endstone so I'm sure we used to be able to make endstone so if I need a, st what I need for that is a stone barrel so have we got any stone? yeah we've got enough for a stone barrel actually I'll just come back and do it that way around let's put the stone barrel down here for the time being Oxygen's fine. Yeah, there's quite usually quite a lot of mod um, mod pack changes between well, the different versions. Like one thing we can't do is build any of the machines. So let's just try this. I'm not sure it's going to work. Lava, glowstone. Yeah, that works. Dot, oh, end stone with space. Okay. Now let's have a look at uses of that. So we should be able to decompose this, I think. Yes. So you get a chance of plutonium, you know, silicon oxide, hydrogen, beryllium. And there you are, gallium, gallium and arsite as the two you could actually get. In fact, we should probably look for that instead. So this one. So the recipe's... F I want to go back to decomposing, don't I see where we're going to get it. So there's a good chance, well, a 7% chance with grass blocks. Now, grass blocks are actually quite cheap. and an 80% chance of getting something with endstone but we all and a lot of these are really active and to be honest with you I don't know what the chances are we don't really want to, to well these we want later on but we can't do anything because we can't get calcium so that's a challenge at the moment we can't get calcium anyway So we could try decomposing but before I do that I would have to make a leaded a leaded box and lead that's what we got for lead we've got 31 broken lead ores let's take those let's melt those down because this is probably still cooking away making our um, quarry and then we can claim that reward so here we are we can put lead into here it'll get smelted nothing in here and then we can take it out of the system in fact, what I might as well do while I'm doing coming here is get some of those other metal sm or smelted and get them into the system because we've got capacity here now for everything. In fact, we actually got some lead already, so that's good. So I've got five slots in that. And those are the five slots I've got. And what we're going to make next is a something useful for storing items. So tin we need a reasonable amount of as well because I want to make use tin all for that. And I wonder if I've got any tin. Let me just go and get my bucket here. 
and put this bucket away uh, put the endstone away don't need that for the time being I'm gonna actually put a chest down here because this stuff is getting a little bit full I'll put it down here like this and we'll put in these items of the extra um, the applied energy stick stuff now the reason I wanted this tank of course was to fill it up let's fill it up with water like that and then we can put this tank over here beside this looks a bit empty I mean what happened there that is most peculiar let's assume it's not empty push because that really shouldn't have happened should it let me go and do that again just to make sure it's not my imagination and while we're here we'll change the oxygen tanks as well oh 218 it's got 1600 buckets and let's just put a tank bucket in here Let's see if I've gone crazy. Can we put the bucket? We can't put the bucket in there directly. So we can't fill it up with this. Hmm. What we can do, because I'm a bit worried about this now, having just lost 16 buckets of water. So let's just, that's all set to, also set to output. Let's make this an input. that mm -hmm. oh that's better this time maybe I was going crazy so we need 64 samplings so we can let these slowly cook as we go through and then when, when that tank's empty we can get another tank so while well, actually while I'm doing let's just check this over here So we're about two thirds of the way through this now. So I have to wait a bit longer. But what we can also make, we haven't got any of this yet, and I'm not quite surprised that we haven't even got a recipe. There isn't a quest for it, but we haven't got any um, transfer nodes. Like this. And we make those with one block of gold, uh, iron and one block of redstone. And that'll give us one transfer node. And that's the only way to do it. Same with fluid, by the way. And you can choose. And these are the ones for energy we don't need for the time being. And the transfer pipe, let's have a look at the pipe. Not that one. I must be looking at the wrong one. Yes, there we go. So we need one iron and one redstone in the assembly table with 500, well basically 600,000 RF now it sounds like it's night time in fact what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make I'm going to get a bucket of gold put the water back again let's let it gold and I'm going to make some ingots of gold if I haven't got them already Well, we've got 41 gold take that with us anyway there's probably some space in it there, yes there is good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the ingot mould into here like this oops oh, actually, I actually don't mind that doing that so let's just take out a few of the iron to start with and put in its place gold like that in fact it isn't a bad idea to go and make some buckets as well so let's make another chest if I've got enough wood that is two here two here and hopefully I've got some ordinary wood I don't see any let's go back over here well the tank's already empty let's take this out and get some more water for this 
we've got nine pieces of wood in here now 15 saplings let's put that across there like that and go and fill this up again don't select water and put it into this tank put the tank down here good I didn't lose it that time that's fantastic So next thing, well, one of those, don't I, to make the six, that'll make the chest, enough of the chest, and it doesn't really matter which materials we use, we've got some jungle wood there, I want chest, and I want some buckets, let's have a look how many iron ingots we've got in here, two, uh, we'll, have more in, we'll have more in the other system. I haven't set up here yet an, an import for the ingots we got 44 that's great so now what we do is just simply switch it on and off to let the gold come through here like that and then I'm just going to remove the gold there'll be plenty of gold there now so what I want to make is I want to put a chest and I want to make some buckets so we've got 10 different types of minerals so let's just Ten different types of fluids. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put it down a. Actually, let's do that before I start. Let's go to each one of these. So we've got some molten tin. Put one bucket in there. So we've got a bucket of tin. Silver. Shiny metal. Gold, which I've already got, put that back actually, let's put that back, copper, aluminium, what we don't need, molten nickel and molten lead, and eventually molten iron, I've got too many buckets, or have I? Well, there's ten different types there. I had one spare bucket. Oh, we're missing. Maybe I'm missing one. Missing molten nickel, molten gold. Nine, of course, because we don't get the water. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that took away a bucket of water and got one extra. That makes sense now. So what I'll do now is I'll just put this buck, this chest down here like this. And into it, I'm going to put all of these different buckets. I'll just sort it like that. So that becomes in the order of the, the standard sort of order. And so now, whenever we need a metal, we just put it, take it out of here and put it into there. So now I've got the gold. And there'll be a little bit of gold in here, 96. Let's flush it out like that. And then that, now that's empty, ready for the next time. What do I want to do with this gold? The first thing I'm going to do is make a clock. So we know what time it is. So it's midday at the moment. So it's safe to go outside without being attacked by mobs. Look, all the mobs we say are below us anyway. What am I doing out here? I'm going to make some more uh, lava. I need to get this automated as quickly as possible anyway because it's a bit of a nuisance at the moment. We'll take that potato over here as well. So this quarry is done because I want to claim this quest and then finish this episode. It is quite a slow process all of this of course. Quarry is still going on. That's a bit of a nuisance. It's gonna it takes a while. I've got some ender pearls of course now. I left it on while I was doing all the mining, so it, uh, it made a few ender pearls for me, which is great. So what I want to do now, is we've got enough wood, that I'm going to make some caches. They're called caches, and they're from the thermal expansion, and they're fairly cheap. So they need tin ingots and a piece of wood. Now tin I haven't got yet, so let's go and make some tin, tin excuse me, some tin ingots. 
So now we've got our buckets in there, we can take the tin, molten tin bucket out of here, put that into here like this. It'll fill up in here, which is done already, making some ingots great. We'll remove this now, put the tin back into there. Makes life a bit easier. We should end it with enough tin. We need about AM four per per cache, and I want at least two caches. That'll do for the time being. And now what I want to do with the caches, I want to go and put into that the some of these mi minerals we've got, uh, these ores we've got here, because I've got rather a lot of iron ore, broken iron ore. Oops, don't need the, I don't need the cheese oil yet. I don't need the clay. let's just make this because usually aluminium and iron are the ones that we've got a lot of yeah I've got I haven't picked up these so all I'm going to do with these for the time being is to put them on the wall like this we will be able to sort stuff so let's put them down here like this and then you can put your items in here. So look, you've got 53. And they behave very much like Java barrels. So you simply right click that with this. And then you can double right click and it should fill everything in there. And you can shift right click and it locks it. So 117. I don't think I've got everything in there yet. Oh, that's aluminium. That's correct. Yes, of course. And then iron. Double click that. Shift right click. And I should be empty of iron, which is good. And now I've got two bit of copper in here which we can put straight into here so that gets pulled out into here and then get into the system like that so this is now 34 ingots so it'll be 96 and now as usual clear that off that's empty so we have some tin ingots to play with I like to have a little bit of stock most of the stock will be stored in um that most of the stock will be stored in liquid form anyway because we've got more capacity in liquid form and it's easier it's more flexible you can make gears whatever you want so you don't have to go and make just make those so, so what else do we need to do let's have a look at how many blocks of iron I've got two blocks of iron here and one block of redstone let's make two transfer nodes let's clear that off that and we'll make some ordinary pipe as well 32 of those I think uh, 32 I've only got 16 I need some more iron we'll do that in a minute of course we've got to wait for this to finish before we can get these things going so we've got redstone and iron so we have two of each if I select these now that will come in afterwards that's good so we can do the those like that and then we can some select some pipes as well so the quarry should get finished first and then these will start to be being made and we need some of those the other thing we can do is probably some ender chests now I didn't do ender chests to start with because they were when my first my playthrough because it was very ender pearls was I think five times more expensive in terms of energy and that took a lot of time to make an ender pearl so where are the ender chests I don't see them of course it's always hard to look at these things isn't it that's all space chest there we go so we need one ender pearl and 32 chests now a chest is fairly straightforward but we need quite a lot of wood for that so we can actually make the chest with this one blocks around that so we need eight sets we actually need 32 pieces of log as well now while that's going on let's go and check this quest over here we've run out of stuff in here I guess we've still got 35 of those so that's fine we've got 16 wood so we've got it needs a lot so we need to get some more phyto grow as well now let's have a look at the recipe for this because this has changed as well So phyto grow. I don't see it. Have I spelled that wrong? 
PYT, is it? No. Oh, that's through the other way around because I can't spell it, are I? Oh, it's not showing up in my recipe list. I had this before, didn't I? And I had to do an empty reload for that. And then we could actually see so there's got an error in here about a crucible thing, which I don't really like. Let's have a look at that again. No, it hasn't. Set. I think that's a tender under IO, isn't it? Well, that's brilliant. I don't see the recipes for that at all. Which is going to make it pretty hard to carry on with this stuff until we can get some more of those. 64 is 31 pH wide to grow. Uh, thermal expansion, sorry. Let's see if we can find it. Well, that's a bit disturbing. Let me just try it again if I spelt it wrong. No, we only see the pratigenic in isolator. That's not very good. I'll have to ask. I thought the recipe was to do with coal dust this time. Oh, never mind. Well, I can't do that for the time. Let's see how this has got on. Because at least we can complete one quest. Are they not yet there? In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pause the video here and let that finish. Well, the quarry is finished. As you can see, we've got quarry in out. So let's take the quarry out and claim the quest. And then, now the quarries are very useful. It'll save a lot of digging. So let's go back here done that one let's go back to moon trance because this is where the quarry is and that is here let's detect that and then we can claim the roads now we get another 64k and we get some landmarks which are great and we get some marker pluses which are not used yet but they use later on so let's have a look at what we got here let's put this away um that's the fluid ones this is the ordinary ones i th think ME storage cell exactly up. It's only a 4K, so we've, now we've got plenty of storage for a bit. These are the two fluid ones. So, well, the quarry will come and do that next time. So, until then, bye for now.